of the Social Development Department with Cash Paymaster Services be extended. This is so that grant beneficiaries can be paid on the 1st of next month. The non-profit organization Black Sash approached the Constitutional Court to exercise oversight over the process to find a new payment provider. Yesterday, a full bench of justices heard arguments proposing the extension. Social Development Minister Batabi Lidlamini and the SA Social Security Agency, or SASA, came under fire in the courtroom. Meanwhile, Cash Paymaster Services says today is the latest that any social grant deal can be concluded. This is a crisis. We must do whatever is necessary to intervene to avoid the proliferation of the crisis. The state of affairs has never been any clearer. Even the state attorney argued that the sense of crisis is real. Sasa knew since April last year that a storm was coming. While the justices found it baffling that the minister didn't seek to rectify this or inform the court. Given the somewhat disobedience that we have seen in the past in relation to these matters, the orders and directions not being, being complied with, will it be appropriate to consider factoring in the rule Nizai, calling upon the minister and everybody concerned to show cause why they should not be held in contempt? But it was the showdown between the justices and the counsel for the minister at Sasa which left many questions. What explanation do we have from the minister appreciating the enormity of her responsibilities, her constitutional responsibilities, to say this is what happened, this is the briefing that I have insisted on, this was my understanding of the progress made, and this is how I sought to make sure that there isn't a repeat of what happened before. I, I can make no submissions on that because the papers do not reveal anything in that connection. When I, I urged with respect, caution on the court in this regard, is that an inference to be drawn from uh, the absence of information about that, and I accept that it is an inference which could be drawn, is that the minister was utterly supine, which is the implication of the line of questions being put to me. But it is not the only inference. The minister was asked uh, when she became aware that Sasa would not be able to pay by um, the end of March. And she answered that question. The answer was given in, Mr. in Dr. Magasella's affidavit, and she confirmed the correctness of that affidavit. The post office disputed that only CPS can offer the service. The company insists that it is complex and has asked the court order that the draft contract which has increased fees be signed. A judgment has been reserved. Thank you, Mr.